right, we'll see if we can get this right here. Um, okay, guys, so No Man's Sky came out, and in VR, it's kind of hard to get your game optimized right. The game clearly has a few problems, optimization problems specifically. So we're going to try to, I'm going to try to show you um, the small things that I have found that um, have fixed the problems for me. The frame rate drops, the stuttering, specifically like the stuttering of the, um, like the menus and things like that, like the shaking of your hand. Um, basically like your hand be like shaking. Anyways, it's, uh, it's weird bugs like that. So if you're having any of those problems, hopefully this will help here. Um, as you can see, it's running. I'm recording my desktop, or at least I should be recording my desktop. Um, and you can see I'm running in the game. Everything's smooth. I walk, I can walk around, I can fly and everything, and it all looks good. I mean, you know, hey, the controls for the ships aren't very good, but whatever. Um, so let's go and show you a couple things. First, I'm going to show you the stuff on the desktop. Um, that needs, oop, my virtual desktop went down. Okay, first I'm going to show you the things on here that need to be, um, looked at here. Uh, your, um, if you're looking at your resource, let's go to your performance. Why is my desktop keep going down? Anyways, if you're looking at your performance, uh, the only reason this is at 67% right now is because of, the fact that I'm recording as well, uh, usually this is sitting at about 50%, so that's what it should be sitting at, is you should be sitting here on your GPU at about 50%, uh, your CPU, yeah, about that, 45, you know, 50% at most. Um, I've got an i7, there you go, i7, 7700, uh, my GT, GPU is a 1070, there you go, right there. Um, okay, so this is what it should look like. Any memory, I've got 16 gigs. Okay, DDR4. It doesn't say on here what, uh, what it is. There you go. There's the stats. Okay. Um, and come on down here. Dang, why does it keep doing that? Uh, anyways, there you go. You can see all the CPUs running together. You can look over here on the, here's the Steam settings. If you go here, if you click on this, and then you go to settings. If you go to settings right there, it'll pop up this right here. And then you can see your, um, how your, how the game's running right here. Okay. If you're getting like spikes, or you're getting red areas or orange areas, that's a problem. If you look at my settings right here. Okay. Um, so probably the thing that fixed the most for me is I went into my NVIDIA control panel and I went into the... Um, I went down here to manage 3D settings into the global settings here. Probably the biggest thing for me was I came down here and I turned off triple buffering and I turned off vertical sync. Those two things seem to have the most um, like performance increase uh, in game. So that's a good one to give a shot. Another thing that I figured out I have to do when I'm playing the game is I have to leave the mirror screen open. If I close the mirror screen, I'll start getting the stuttering again. So this mirror screen has to stay open. Um, okay, so let's get into the game real quick. So so that was the biggest thing, uh, fixing the vertical sync on your global settings. On down here on your uh, Steam VR settings, um, I just monkeyed around with some of these things, and they seem to have a slight... Because uh, if you turned off the advanced super sampling filter, I turned that off under, let's see. Where was it? Uh, this, the, um, this is also like a rendering super sampling type thing. Uh, I turned that down to 100% instead of having up. Some people like to like increase this. 
or you can also decrease it, but I put mine in exactly 100%. Um, so that also has helped. Um, all right, so let's get into the game real quick. Um, there's two option settings here that we need to go over. Um, so first, the video options. Let me take a look at this. I put my resolution at the lowest it could possibly go. I turn vertical sync off. My FPS, I matched it with my headset. That's one thing that I read online. Try to match your FPS with your headset. So if you're running a 90 hertz headset, put it to 90. If you're running, you know, I'm running the Rift S, so I put it at 80. You put your um, field of views, you just leave them as default, all that default. And then turn down the motion blur all the way. Headsets don't like the motion blur for some reason. So turn down your motion blur all the way. And then apply that. Um, now over in the graphics options, this stuff is just going to depend on your um, on your uh, computer, I guess, really, more so than all the other stuff. The other stuff hopefully will fix the game itself. But um, TAA in this game is horrible. It's absolutely horrible. It makes everything blurry just beyond like 10 feet. Um, FXIA seems to work pretty good. Turning up the um, the filtering to 16 is, is really good. If your ground, if the ground is looking like blurry, turn on the HBAO, um, turn that on to high. Um, the terrain tessellation, that's another thing. If the ground's looking blurry, turn on the terrain tessellation. Um, and you can see here, this is what I got it all on right now. Uh, as most people should know, shadow quality decreases um, decreases performance on a lot of machines. So maybe if you turn that down to just like enhanced, maybe that'll help you out. Um, so there we go. I think that's all the things that I've done. So here's my graphic options. Um, oops, didn't want to go all the way back. There's my graphic options. There's my video options. This had a huge, huge amount to do with it. Turning the resolution down, turning VSync off, ma uh, making your FPS the same as what your headset is, and then um, turning off uh, motion blur. Okay, those were the big ones. Then back on the, um, back on your desktop. Go over to your um, NVIDIA settings. I don't know how this would work on a, a Radeon. I assume if you had a Radeon, it would be similar. Um, but go down here, turn off triple buffering, turn off vertical sync. Okay, And then make sure that your super sampling on Steam VR is at 100. And that you're, um, and then you have stuff off like enhanced uh, or whatever, enable advanced super sampling filter. Make sure those are turned off. Okay. Hopefully that'll help. Hopefully your uh, performance will look something like that, where the GPU um, should be about 50% uh, if you got a 1070. Uh, if you got a 1060, maybe yours will be about there, about 67, 75. I don't know. Um, but it should look that should be steady, no spikes, no major spikes anywhere. So if that's what you got. Um, so hopefully this helped. Hopefully some of you guys got something here that maybe it'll, it'll work for you. If it doesn't work for you, um, man, put it down in the comments. Tell us, uh, tell us what's going on. If someone has anything else they think is going to help this out, go ahead and put that in the comments and then. You know, we can all read, and maybe there'll be a, a follow-up video if we find something better. But um, right now, game seems to be working for me. Oh, la last thing. I have to, for my computer, I have to leave the mirror up while I'm playing. If I don't leave the mirror up, then the, the game will get all screwed up as well. So that's what I got.